Hello, it's Mr. Omar again and we're talking about one of our most dominant archetypes. Pretty much wherever you have a hero, you have this archetype. So let's have a look at these men and see what they do in common. There, of course, we have Lord Voldemort from the Harry Potter series. We have Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. And we have Megatron from um, Transformers. And I could just keep going and going and going. You can find these people all over the shop. They are, of course, the Destroyer. So let's see what destroyers have in common and what separates them from other archetypal characters. The destroyer is most commonly very verbal. They talk a lot, but they don't talk. They they have a kind of threatening, deep, um, you know, a, a voice that that sounds serious. They use their words to sound intelligent. They use their words to terrorise. Hannibal Lecter particularly does this. Actually, Voldemort does this quite a bit. They are older. They are an older man normally, um, or an older robot in this case, and they are old and strong. They are powerful. Um, the hero needs to defeat something bigger than himself. This is what makes him heroic. So he is fighting somebody who has more world experience than him and just greater strength than him. And importantly, and this is what often separates the old man wizard from the destroyer, is that the destroyer is evil. The destroyer destroys lives, it destroys property, it creates horror, it creates terror. And this is what makes them bad, is that they destroy things. So it's kind of a symbiotic relationship there. They're bad because they destroy and they destroy because they're bad. So anyhow, that's a, that's a key archetype there. You're um, your destroyer and I'll come back shortly with something a bit more fun.